Tropical storm Hillary hit the West Coast on the heels of what's been a scorching summer. As our Sean Stiles tells us in this Earth 8 report, a developing El Nino is expected to make our weather even more intense. July is probably going to go down as one of the warmest globally, maybe the warmest globally temperatures. Alex Tardy is a meteorologist with the National Weather Service here in San Diego. He says this summer's heat is not just a one-off. 2020, 2021 were the hottest summers on record in, in California. 2022 last year was right behind it. While it may seem the southwest has been suffering under the heat dome that won't let up, much of the northern hemisphere has been suffering as well this summer. What we've really been observing and what's really driving global temperatures is these warm pockets. And these warm pockets in the northern latitudes from Japan to the Gulf of Alaska to the northern Atlantic. There are two drivers that are throwing the oceans off. Excessive ice loss around the North Pole and an overloading of heat absorption into the oceans. And because the oceans are not resetting, cooling back down, they cannot pull as much heat from the atmosphere as they normally would. Those warm pockets have been around for a long time, years, and they're expanding. Now add to that a developing El Nino. But down in the equator, this is brand new over the past couple months. The El Nino is icing on the cake, adding additional warmth to the globe, even though they are not relying or dependent on each other. Alex Tardy says this El Nino is building and expected to become more intense. It makes the jet stream a little more consolidated, a little more focused, and a little more energetic. So in the end of the day, it can bring us more rain, more snow, more wind, more active winter. And the tropics is where we're monitoring the enhancement. Or These warmer regions of the oceans are not just affecting local weather patterns, but the entire planet. This is a process that is in the tropics, far from us, but in a source region where all the energy for most of our weather is stored. And with the oceans holding this excessive heat, that energy will have to be released. All that warming in the northern latitudes where we live are truly what's resulting in these excessive temperatures, summer, year long, or even recently, what we've been seeing, not just California, but globally. Sean Stiles, CBS 8.